Well, welcome to another episode of Check Out Baskets, where we check things out to see if they're good for you and me to eat. Alright, so today is the 18th of September, which is International World Cheeseburger Day! Yay! For the cheeseburger, it's a day. And to celebrate International Cheeseburger Day, this week we are filming episodes on cheeseburgers. Yes, cheeseburgers. Now, here in Australia, you might think, all right, I want to get a cheeseburger. Where's the best place to get an Aussie cheeseburger? Think about it. it might take you a while. See, the best place to get a sausage and bread isn't at the local butcher, it's at the local hardware store. So, where would the best place to get a hamburger or a cheeseburger? The best place in Australia. Think about it. All right, <laughs> if you haven't worked it out, it's your local fish and chip shop. That's right, fish and chips, yeah, they have the best hamburgers and cheeseburgers here in Australia. Well, your homemade style ones, the ones that you know, that taste so good that you have to wear a bib with a catcher underneath it to catch anything you drop because it's that good you want to eat it as well. And to celebrate it, World Cheeseburger Day, I went down to my local fish and chip shop and bought myself a cheeseburger. <laughs> yes, that's right, a cheeseburger from a fish and chip shop. Best place to get them in Australia. All right, let's have a look what you get inside here. Let's rip it open. Oh, like you would after you got it from the fish and chip shop. Out she comes. There it is. You can see it. It's got a little bit of lettuce, got the cheese. Beef patty, it's leaking, which is the best part about it. Any burger that leaks, this kind of burger is usually good. All right, let's cut this thing open. Actually, no, let's dissect this thing first. All right, so usually you get this nice little wrap thing that stops it from oozing out all over you, so you tear it back. I'll put the bin, I don't need it. I'm gonna get it all over the front of me. All right, what do you get inside? A fish and chip style cheeseburger. Oh, open she up. Oh, ah, everything's stuck to the top. <laughs> Best way to have it. All right, so you got a, a buttered roll with lettuce. I can see tomato sauce on there. Let's see if I can peel this off. Oh, oh. All right, so the cheese is melted into the top bun. And the patty is there. You can see it's been seasoned. It is a. It is not a frozen patty. This is a, a beef patty that's been made. You can tell by the indifferent shapes around it. Looks like there's been a bit of mayonnaise on the top as well, which looks good. Let's let's rebuild this burger and do what we do to all of them. We get our knife and give it a once over. All right, let's cut this thing in half. Straight through the middle. All right, time to four. Break down the other side. All right, so here we go. We've got our bun. We've got the cheese and mayonnaise. We've got the beef patty. We've got the tomato sauce. We've got our lettuce underneath there. Looks pretty good. All right, time for a taste test. Your old fashioned fish and chip style cheeseburger. Now, price for this was $5. What do you think? It's another big burger. Yeah, it is. Now this one, the, the crust is a little bit crustier on top. It's not, not, not soft, but it is not, it's not hard either. It's got some sesame seeds uh, sprinkled all across the top. Has been cut and uh, um, buttered in the fish and chip shop. I don't think they, they toasted these rolls. Uh, it's got mayonnaise, the cheese is up the top, it's melted into the burger. Uh, then you've got uh, tomato sauce and uh, lettuce. 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 Lettuce on a, lettuce on a cheeseburger. Well, I have to try this. Well, this is, uh, you know, your, your Aussie style. <laughs> Maybe the lettuce gives it that uh, distinction. All right, let's go in. It's leaked out the side. Oh, it does. Oh, it's a traditional type burger, this one. All right, in she goes. It smells right. Good 
different shape. That's nice. nice. That is nice. Mm. Now, the uh, tomato sauce has got a sweetish taste to it. It's not spicy. Doesn't have any mustard, but it does have a little bit of mayonnaise and cheese on top. Nice. Doesn't have any pickles, like your standard cheeseburger would. But it's got lettuce. And yes, in Australia, where is the best place to get uh, to get a to get your old-fashioned hamburger? The old-fashioned hamburger, yeah. the uh, fish and chip shop. That's right. So that's why we went to the fish and chip shop today to get ourselves a cheeseburger, because that's where they make the best old-fashioned ones. All right. Price-wise, five dollars. You get you get you getting a bit out of that. It's not like a, a, a dollar menu at um, at McDonald's, but it it's big. Yeah. It's a big roll. Um, the beef is is real beef. It's ground mince. It's got some spices in it. I could see that when I uh, when I dissect, dissected the burger. Um, it's not a frozen patty. I can tell oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I have. What do you think? Oh, it's nice. Sweet. I can taste the sweetness in the sauce. But it's not fatty either. No, um, I'm liking this one. I'm, I'm sticking with my uh, my uh, uh, standard four on this this one. Four for you? So far, uh, yeah, all my uh, well, most of my cheeseburgers have got a four. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, for me, I'm going to give this the four as well. It's uh, it, it it's not your um. <laughs> Your, your run of the mill McDonald's or Burger King cheeseburger, it's not one of those. Uh, it, it is a, it'll come down like to your homemade style cheeseburger that you would get. So, I'm going to give it four, you've got four, that's an eight out of ten. Alright. If you do live in Australia and you go to your local fish and chip shop and they have a cheeseburger on the menu, order it. Tell me what you think compared to your other fast food chains that you can get your hamburgers or cheeseburgers from as well. Tell me what you think. If you have a fish and chip shop in your country, do they sell hamburgers and cheeseburgers? Tell me in the, in, in the description below. And if you haven't, give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, don't forget if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, get notified when I do these. Check out Basket Episodes! Uh, cooking with Craig, which will be one of these at the end of the week, and you're probably thinking, wonder what's going to be, because today is International uh, Cheeseburger Day. It's going to be a. I'm going to leave that uh, blank for you to think. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go check out the other videos that I've got on my channel. Um, and until next time, see you in the next video.